Hey everybody, I'm Eric. Welcome to Com- to Divine Conversations. So um, this week I am feeling called to do a karmic uh, check-in, or in this case it's going to be a karmic update for the Twin Flame Collective, both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, because <clears throat> um, both of us uh, counterparts have individuals in or dealing with karmic relationships both divine feminine and divine masculine um so this reading is going to be for those individuals no matter where you fall within the you know the collective those of us that are either in or in or still dealing with a karmic relationship um what i'm being called to do right now is just give us an energetic update um so i'm going to be doing my um karmic up my karmic check-in reading here and again this is a general reading so please understand that this is um this is for a lot of people here okay and i'm 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 doing my best to i'm going to do my best excuse me to um bring forward the messages that need to be heard for those of you that stumble upon this video right now okay so um let's get to it i'm using the oracle of visions deck here by Ciro marchetti and I'm going to be using a tarot deck to bring to get some clarity, okay, from whatever comes up. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective. Please bring forward the best messages for those of us either in a karmic relationship, uh, moving away from a karmic relationship, still dealing with a karmic relationship. Please bring forward the best messages for us at this time, Spirit. Please help us. Please help us get a better understanding of what's going on for us at this time. Those of us twin flames in or dealing with a karmic relationship. Thank you. Now this is not for the counterpart that's, you know, on the outside watching their twin with this this uh, karmic relationship. This is for the twin that is wrapped up, physically wrapped up in a karmic relationship, okay? Now if you are uh, cross watching for your twin, because you know your twin is in a karmic relationship or is dealing with a karmic relationship, this reading will serve to help you have a greater understanding of what's going on for them right now, okay? But really, this message is, or this reading is um, is directed at those, those of us that are in the relationship and um, are seeking greater clarity around what's going on so that we can move forward in whatever way they feel best for them, yes? All right clarify the intention there. Let's get one more shuffle and then I'll cut the deck. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, cut the deck. All right, overall energy to start. Mm. We have card number 43. I see a lot of selfishness here. Me, 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 me is, <laughs> is what I'm getting from this card. And for the most part, I believe this is coming from the karmic partner, not the twin. This is energy that the karmic, par- that the karmic partner is putting forward and the twin is having to deal with it. Um, in many cases, this is, I'm seeing narcissism. I'm seeing egotism. I know for a fact, me, I, um, <laughs> I, have a karmic situation that I'm working out of. Um, I was married to someone and he turned out to be a real big narcissist. And it, and I, 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 I can, I call it, um, covert narcissism. That is a term that, uh, Michelle at angel souls 444 put me onto a long time ago. She actually helped me realize what was going on in my relationship at that time. If you're familiar with her, she's wonderful. She's an angel card reader. She's not a tarot card reader. She's an angel medium. Um, but I, I, I'm feeling like I am being called to direct a lot of you towards her because I feel because she can help a lot of you with the messages she brings forward from the angels, from the angelic realm. realm. But um, anyway, narcissism, egotism, sociopaths. These are the energies that these karmic partners are exhibiting. Okay. Next in the story, oh, wow, 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 wow. Card number 22. And it's so funny that this card came up. Look at it. 
okay? And this card came up, and I think in the last, and one of the, uh, uh, recently in a karmic check-in that I did for a personal reading. But this card, yeah, look at that, okay. Now, look at what was under card number 43 on the bottom of the deck. Bam, whoa, whoa, wait a second, whoa, wait a second. Isn't that the woman that that guy's looking at? Whoa, mm-hmm. Now, I didn't want to really talk about this card yet. I mean, I saw it and I was like, okay, yeah. All right, that's part of the message, but let's move forward. But then card number 22 came up and I was like, okay, we got to talk about this. This, sorry, these two cards here, these are the twins. The divine feminine wants communication. The divine, the divine masculine wants to get back to her just doesn't know how looking at these pictures of her through this pictogram and like god she is beautiful how do i get back to her and when i say him and her i'm just talking about the energies okay it has nothing to do with gender next in the story mm -hmm. we have card number 17 balance egotism just keeps being repeated in my head right now egotism next card number 45 playing along wishful thinking and finally i am being called to do four courts four <laughs> four courts four cards in this row normally when i do a karmic check-in for a personal reading i just do three okay but because this is a general reading and i'm reading for a lot of people spirit is called is asking me to pull four cards in this so far ah yes spirit thank you in the last card Number 27, fatal attraction. Mm-hmm. Yep, all of you are resonating with that one. I feel that. There's like a big whoa moment happening right now. <laughs> all right. Um, so we already talked about the underlying energy with card number 43. Now, um, Uh, gender aside, with card number 22, we have the twin that is in the karmic relationship looking back at their counterpart, trying to understand what's going on, trying to get back to them. In some cases, you're also trying to figure out who this person is to you because you feel so deeply for them. That would be for people that are pretty new to the journey. Even if you don't even know I feel like some there are some of you that have just stumbled onto this video here by fate or by chance, and you're not so sure about um, the twin flame journey. So in that case, I'm being called to speak to those of you that have recently met a soulmate and feel a very deep connection with them. But you're in this relationship with someone else, and so now you're looking back on memories of this other person that you just came in contact with, and you're like, why do I feel this way? Who is this person? And how do I get to them? Now, for those of, those of us on the Twin Flame journey who are, um, okay, for those uh, who are familiar with the situation, you know, you know who this person is to you. And you're kind of reminiscing on the energy that you have with them, on the relationship you have with them. And again, you're trying to figure out how to get that back, how to get to it. Next, we have card number 17, which is balance. And this is where, other than the um, overall energy, um, this is also where more of the egotism, the message of egotism is coming up. And it was coming up really strongly because ego is getting in the way here with these karmic relationships. In many, in many cases, it's the karmic themselves who's dealing with, who's very three-dimensionally oriented, very ego-based, um, very, very much rooted in their ego and are uh, exhibiting narcissistic and sociopathic tendencies. In some cases, this is the twin themselves juggling the masks of uh, physical existence, trying to understand why they need to uproot themselves and leave this relationship or this family that they've started with this person in pursuit of someone else. In many cases, uh, a lot of you are still dealing with the fact that you, you're you still being influenced by the opinions of others and the judgments of others is what I'm picking up here. 
And you're trying to balance all that out while also trying to balance out your yin, your male, masculine and feminine energies um, in, you know, trying to heal. And I'm getting that from the yin and yang on this man's chest. In your heart space, you're balancing your energies. But in your physical reality, you're still trying to juggle your physical life, the elements of your physical life. It's not, I'm hearing it's not making much sense to you. And uh, the universe says in response to that, honey, it doesn't always have to make sense. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be point blank. This is the universe speaking. I'm going to be point blank with you, child. There are going to be many cases where it doesn't make a lick of sense. But we still need you to move forward. We still need you to have faith in the divine, faith in yourself, faith in your inner knowing and your higher knowing. You will always be protected, child. We will always have your back. Even when it looks like you're in your darkest days. We will always be here. 11-11 on the counter. All right. Next, we have card number 45, marionettes, playing along, wishful thinking. A lot of you are just kind of going along with the process, thinking, eh, well, if I just keep doing this, Eventually, all these feelings and all these memories and will go away and I'll stop thinking about this. Per uh, uh, uh. No. No. You won't. No, <laughs> they won't go away. And I'm speaking from experience here, y'all. I tried. I tried so hard to push. My twin did the same thing. He, stayed, he still may be trying to push me away, push this connection away. It's not going to happen. It's really not going to happen, guys. And look, even in this card, you see, you see her, this, this masculine or this, this person is on their knee extending an offer and they're like, no, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really melodramatic. But still, some of you are still in these karmic relationships thinking, oh, it'll just go away. If I ignore it, it'll just fade away. Nope. And some of you are going to have to learn a hard lesson in that. <laughs> And I'm hearing that's really only because of stubbornness. Lord, don't I know how to be stubborn. I'm a Taurus with a Virgo rising, honey. Ew. <laughs> All right, moving on. Fatal attraction, card number 27. I mean, and I was literally just about to say narcissism. Narcissists. Narcissists, y'all, run. Run, run, run as fast as, and far as you can. Because that narcissist is only going to burn you alive, eat you alive with that Venus tri fly, burn you alive like the moth to a flame, eat you alive like the fly to the Venus tri fly trap, lust, deception, greed, vanity, run guys, get away from them, they are not going to help you and they do not love you. No matter what they say, that the way a narcissist treats someone is not love. Is not love. Whew. Okay. Um, and I do just want to speak to this card here. This card I'm seeing, number 15 here. I'm seeing this card as the twin on the outside, looking at their, um, their, their divine counterpart, wishing they would be out of this karmic relationship, wanting to speak to them, wanting to communicate with them. You see, she has this letter here. I just wanna see you. I just wanna talk to you, but I can't. And then here we are in this karmic relationship, like, excuse my language, but fuck, what do I do now? Yeah. All right. Let's get some uh, let's get some clarification here, shall we? Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's um, Spirit, please bring forward some clarification for the twin flames in karmic relationships at this time. Please bring forward uh, some clarification for these for this these cards here. This uh, this spread I have going on. Yeah. Best. Clarification, best messages. 
so we can have a deeper understanding of the situation at hand. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you so much for your guidance and your love. Your guidance and your love. <laughs> One more shuffle. So it's my intention to do a free shuffle of these cards and pull two messages, two clarifiers for each one of these four cards. And then the fifth card here, the underlying um, energy, the message, the clarification from that is going to come from the bottom of the deck after I've already pulled out these. All right. So spirit, two cards of clarification for card number 22 here, please. One. Ooh, we've got three. We've got four, actually. <laughs> we've got four cards. All right. So the ten of coins um, showed up face up. Okay. We've got the Queen of Swords. We've got, oh, yeah, the Knight of Cups and Death. All right, so what's happening here? We've got it, yeah, what's happening here is um, when it comes to, you know, those of us that are here, if we find ourselves in this position where we're looking out at our twin like, oh, my God, I have to get to you. It is because you have reached this ten of cut coins situation. You have reached the end of this physical relationship. You're done. You've reached the end. Normally, the ten of coins is talking about um, material success, financial wealth, and all that stuff. But what I'm seeing here in relation to this reading is this is an ending to this physical reality with this karmic partner. The queen of swords energy is showing up in two ways. One, it's showing up in the reverse with the karmic partner appearing as the queen of swords in reverse. And man, is she manipulative and cutting. I mean, she will cut you up just for the sake of cutting you up. Okay. And that is why many of you have reached this ten of coins situation. You're like, I can't do this shit no more. Right. But also the queen of coins, I'm sorry, the queen of swords is coming in as the, as the twin themselves saying, I cannot do this anymore. And you're not even emotional about it. You're just taking sheer facts. Narcissism. You're starting to realize the abusive tendencies of this person that you're in this relationship with. And you're coming to terms with your heart, your knight of cups. You want to send a message to your twin. You want to be there for your twin. You want to show up for your twin. And thus, you're going through a transformation. Death. Okay? The desire, the desire to show up for your twin is, is facilitating this um, death, this transformation. You moving out of that karmic relationship. All right, uh, card number 17. Please, Spirit, two cards for card number 17. One, aw, the two of cups, and two, the 10 of swords. Look at that, look at that. The 10 of swords and the two of cups. Again, ending but you're balancing, right? You're looking to balance. You're understanding, and it, yes, yes. What's coming through here is the, the, the yin and yang on that man's chest in that man's heart space is him balancing himself out, learning. He's like balancing himself. And, when he, and as he starts to balance himself, he reaches this 10 of swords situation where I am done being stabbed in the back. I am done being betrayed, hurt, whatever, by this karmic partner. I'm done being manipulated. I am done being uh, taken advantage of. Being told that they love me when they really don't because they're abusing me. I'm done with it. You want to move towards that is that person that is going to give you the love you've been seeking. And in this deck, the two of cups is depicted as the two individuals that you find in the lovers. Okay? If you see the, the, their, their faces in the glasses there, in the cups there. So this is also talking about those of us in separation from our twins that are wishing to reach reconciliation with our twins because some really bad stuff has gone on between us. Reconciliation is desired here. And so that balance is helping you facilitate that ten of swords like, I don't want to do this. I don't want this. I don't want us to have this rift between us anymore. I want to reconcile. I want to come into union with you. I want to be with you because I know you're going to treat me the way I deserve to be treated. You're going to love me unconditionally. You're going to love me for the person that I am. You're not going to manipulate me. You're not going to take advantage of me. Right? Right. Moving on to card 45. 
playing along, wishful thinking, marionettes, two cards, please, spirit. Oh, we got three cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Nine of Coins. Ace of Wands is talking about inspiration. Okay. And I see a lot of you coming out of this wishful thinking phase, coming out of this just playing along. Um, yeah. You're coming out of this almost blinding yourself to the truth of the situation with this karmic partner, okay, uh, with the Ace of Wands, with the Ace of Wands. You're realizing how this really isn't a beneficial love situation, and you're seeing, you're starting to see the offer, the value in the offer that you were, you were given that was being put forward to you by your twin. Or in some cases, some of you are trying to figure out how to give that offer, okay? Um, and finally, we have the nine of coins here. So this is talking about um, independence. It's talking about abundance, okay? And I, I feel like the universe with the nine of coins is saying to you that you have every right to step out on your own. You will be supported. You will be okay. You can achieve ultimate independence on your own. You have that power. So stop chaining yourself to this situation. Stop playing along with this situation because you know it's not serving you anymore. And in some cases, if you are afraid that you can't step out on your own, again, the universe is saying to you, yes, you can. All right. Clarification now for card number 27. Good old fatal attraction. What do you have for us, Spirit, please? One, two, okay. The Page of Wands and the Seven of Cups. I'm getting, I'm getting passion here, but immature passion in the Page of Wands or a newfound passion. Um, but what I'm really getting from between the seven of cups and the page of wands was this relationship was started because of like a, a bit of an immaturity. Um, and there was a lot of illusion around it. Oh, that makes perfect sense. There was a lot of illusion around it with the seven of cups and naivety. It, there was, it was passionate, but it was naive passion. Right, there was passion in the beginning. Maybe there still is passion in the relationship, but it's naive passion because there are so many illusions around you. And I'm picking up that there are so many red flags, red flags around it that are being ignored or have been ignored for a long time. And the universe is asking you to step out of that. The universe is, in many cases, if this is resonating with you, I just heard the universe is saying is asking you to grow up a bit and start seeing things as they really are. In, in, all, in, in no way is the universe asking you not to be passionate. The universe encourages you to be passionate. But the universe is asking you to not be naive about it. The universe is asking you to see things as they truly are. Okay? Understand that if somebody is hurting you like this, you do not need to stay. Again, Take note of the red flags and see things as they really are, not as you want them to be. And also, the universe just put this forward. In asking you to grow up a bit, the universe is also asking you to take a bit of responsibility for where you find yourself. Yes, there is narcissism, there's egotism, there's, so, so, uh, there are, there's sociopathic tendencies here. But... You chose to be in this relationship. Granted, you, you're in the relationship so you can learn and heal. And that's a good thing. But you also, you need to be able to take responsibility for your actions and for where you find yourself in this moment in time. And when you do that, you are then much more prepared 
to heal and fix the situation and to keep yourself from doing it getting in a similar one you know what i mean moving forward finally clarification for the overall energy aha we have strength <gasps> guys oh my god and we have the lovers look <laughs> look look the lovers look there they are the two of them oh guys you have the strength to walk away to walk away get yourself out of this get yourself away from this person god this per oh this person is just icky so self-centered self-absorbed like ew <laughs> ew you have the power and the strength to walk away from that and walk towards true love you have the strength to make the choice to accept and pursue true love mm -mm -mm. i really love that i re i really look at this card isn't this card so beautiful and I'm a big animal person, but in all those cats, man, I love big cats. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? And they're, they're, um, there's a, I'm being drawn to that light shining on top of their heads, which is to, to me is speaking to enlightenment, understanding, understanding of your primal instincts, understanding of your, um, your primal urges, your gut urges, your intuition also. You have the strength and the support to walk away from this toxic relationship. A bit of advice in um, taking responsibility. What helps in taking responsibility for where you find yourself and what has gone on in your life, and I'm speaking from experience here, um, is understanding that, yeah, I'm, I am responsible for i find myself but also like this is serving to teach me a lesson teach me something that will only make me better and stronger in the long run wiser i will understand how to better work with the world and manifest what i truly want in my life all right guys so there it is i hope you enjoyed if you'd like, if this resonated with you, then energetic donations are greatly appreciated. If you'd like a personal reading with me, all of the information is down in the description box below. I love you guys. I will speak with you soon. Bye-bye.